The senator's passing came at 428 p.m. local time, surrounded by loved ones in a place that meant so much to him, his ranch near Sedona here, someplace that had been tranquil and a sanctuary for him. His life prompted so many to remember different aspects of a man who was known for his straight talk and his service. Sedona at dusk. A slow procession and police escort carried Senator John McCain away from home one last time. A two-hour journey through the state he loved and represented for more than 30 years. Signs of respect and appreciation along the way. And a crowd came to pay respects outside the Phoenix funeral home. The most personal loss belongs to his family. Seven children, five grandchildren. His mother, Roberta, survives him at age 106. Widow Cindy shared, My heart is broken. I am so lucky to have lived the adventure of loving this incredible man for 38 years. Daughter Megan, who has let the public in on her grief, wrote, I was with my father at his end, as he was with me at my beginning. His love and his care, ever present, always unfailing, took me from a girl to a woman, and he showed me what it is to be a man. The warrior enters his true and eternal life. From family man to statesman, respected across the political divide, a video clip was posted Saturday of Bill Clinton reminiscing. Was a remarkable man. In a statement Bill and Hillary Clinton said of McCain, he frequently put partisanship aside to do what he thought was best for the country and was never afraid to break the mold if it was the right thing to do. President Trump, who regularly criticized McCain, made no comment about the man, but offered deepest sympathies to his family. Barack Obama writes, all of us can aspire to the courage to put the greater good above our own. At John's best, he showed us what that means, and for that, we are all in his debt. From Joe Biden, whose son Beau died after battling the same brain cancer, John McCain's life is proof that some truths are timeless. Character, courage, integrity, honor. The elder President Bush called him a patriot of the highest order. And President George W. Bush said of his one-time political rival, some lives are so vivid, it is difficult to imagine them ended. Some voices are so vibrant, it is hard to think of them stilled. And Kelly, for you, this is really personal. As we've said, you covered him for years. And I wonder this morning if there's a specific memory that's resonating with you that, that you can share with everyone. Oh, so many. But I remember once covering the campaign in 2008, and I reported offhandedly that Senator McCain had incorrectly referred to the Czech Republic as Czechoslovakia three times. A few days later, he calls me to the front of the campaign plane. Senator Graham is standing there, and he says, I am organizing a trip with senators. We've never done this before. I want to take a reporter. I think you should get the exclusive. Are you interested? And of course, I was so excited. Of course, of course. And he said, we're going to Czechoslovakia. And he broke up laughing, hit me on the shoulder, and he said, gotcha. So many, so many times he was feisty, but he was also funny. Kristen? He was, Kelly, and what an honor to have you covering his legacy. Really appreciate it. Kelly O'Donnell, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.